I was reading an article about extracting caffeine using different extraction methods and I was tempted to see if I could perform it and observe how caffeine powder actually looks like. Solvent extraction, steam distillation, solid liquid extraction, liquid liquid extraction and so on were on the list. I chose solvent extraction and followed the standard procedure. In a well-equipped lab, you can eliminate the first step and directly soak the tea in DCM. To begin the process, 10 grams of tea leaves were boiled in 90 milliliters of water. Also, I could simply just soak them, but higher temperature increases kinetic energy, allowing water molecules to penetrate the tea leaves and interact with the caffeine. As caffeine is water soluble, it is an effective way to bring it into aqueous layer, you know, similar to tea preparation. Tannins are naturally occurring compounds found in tea leaves and can interfere by forming complexes with caffeine. To eliminate this, 6 grams of sodium carbonate was added. Sodium carbonate's basic nature reacts with tannins, causing them to form water-soluble complexes. Remember to cover your beaker to prevent water loss and boiling continued for about 10 minutes. Then the mixture was filtered using a coffee filter to remove tannins and transferred to a separatory funnel. As previously mentioned, water can extract caffeine up to a limit. To fully extract caffeine, 4 ml of DCM was added in two portions. Be cautious adding it gently to avoid sudden splashing. After a few minutes, you'll observe the separation of two layers. The color difference and distinct line between them makes the separation straightforward and also beautiful. For the next step, a distillation set was used to get rid of the DCM. After about 20 minutes, I saw crystals forming inside the flask, which I removed with a glass straw. And there you have it. Caffeine we are all somehow addicted to.